Hello, I am Lucy and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing my second term update of being a first year at Erdang. I cannot believe I have finished my second term. It's actually a joke. Well, I've nearly finished it. I'm currently in assessment month and at the end of assessment month, that's officially term two finished. However, I'm gonna do a completely separate video on assessments. I have also done a video on my first term at Erdang and I will link that down below in the description if you have not seen it yet. I had this Erdang hoodie on for the thumbnail but I'm going to take it off now because it's definitely damp because I've just taken it out of the washing machine. Okay, so much like my last video of my term one update, I'm just going to kind of chat you guys through everything, my experiences, my thoughts, what kind of lessons we get, how I found it basically. Loads of you have been messaging me on Instagram, asking questions about auditions, letting me know where you've got into, letting me know that some of you guys are coming to Erdang, which is so exciting. So be sure to keep messaging me, I absolutely love helping you guys out. And if you have messaged me to ask about auditions, please do let me know how you get on. I absolutely love knowing where you guys are going and how you're doing with your auditions. So let's get into the video. I've written a little kind of list on my phone and I'm going to go through that and hopefully I've not forgotten anything. As always leave all your questions in the comments down below and I'll be sure to answer them as best I can. So the first thing I thought I'd go through is what classes changed from first term to second term. Our timetable didn't change majorly and as again I said if you look at my term one review video you'll find out all the classes we had in term one but these are the things that changed from term one to term two. So we got added acting through song class for an hour I think it is or maybe an hour and 15. Acting through song I love. I think it's my favourite class. We had it with George Euro this term for the second half of the term and with Mariano for the first half of the term. I just love acting through song. I think it's brilliant. Acting through song I think is personally one of the most important subjects when it comes to auditions and stuff like that so I'm really grateful that we had this class and I'm very excited to hopefully have much more of it in second year. Um, Next is we didn't have MT Jazz this term. I spoke about MT Jazz quite a lot in my last video and this made me quite sad because I loved MT Jazz. It was basically kind of like a jazz rep class where we learned audition dances for different musicals and stuff like that. And rather than just being pure technique, which our other two jazz classes are, it was um, dances and performance and all that kind of stuff. So I was quite sad that we lost that class. However, I understand that we can't do everything. We already have insane hours that we can't have every single class. The next thing which we got added, which was my favourite, I mean I said that about ATS as well, was one-to-one -one singing lessons. I was so happy that we got these this half term, this term sorry, I was really sad we didn't have them in term one but I know that is very normal for drama school not to have one-to-one -one singing lessons in your first term of first year so I was super happy we had them this year. Our lessons were only 20 minutes though which personally I felt was a little bit short but I understand why because obviously of timetabling issues and the amount of people in our year we can't each have an hour singing lesson because that would just be impossible. So yeah, I think I just made sure to make the most out of my 20 minutes and I would warm up always before my lesson. So whenever I got to my lesson, I was ready to just get going and I didn't have to worry about warming up or getting into it. I was literally ready to sing my assessment songs and go, go, go for the whole 20 minutes. A few minor changes were to tap and ballet. We got one more tap lesson. So instead of having one hour of tap a week, we got two hours and we got one less ballet lesson. So I guess it's kind of like swapped in and out. Um, we now have three, this term we now had three ballet classes instead of four, so we still have hundreds of ballet, especially in comparison to a lot of other drama schools in first year, we do have a lot of ballet. Personally, I love that because as most people say, ballet is the foundation of all dance styles and for your strength and technique, I just think ballet is brilliant. Um, yeah, so we had ballet three times a week and tap twice a week and I was super happy that we got extra tap because I personally only started tap when I did my GSA foundation. So I'm mega playing catch up and I just absolutely love tap. It's one of my favourite subjects. I think it's so fun. The next class, which was new this term, which replaced applied voice, I think. So we still have pure voice. We Last time we had pure voice and applied voice. This term we have pure voice 
and accent and dialect. So in accent and dialect, this term we are focusing on RP, um, which is received pronunciation, which is the like key accent that you need to have to work in this profession. Um, these classes were really, really good. They were only an hour, which is quite short, but they were really like to the point. And we just worked on RP, all the techniques, all the different sounds that we need to be able to make and applied that RP to our Shakespearean sonnet, which we are doing for our assessment in pure voice. So those two classes kind of work together, which is really good. The next class that was new this term, which was the kind of replacement for healthier performer. So last time we had healthier performer and this time we had music theory. I think it is so good that Erdang do music theory in first year because I think it is so important as a performer to be able to understand sheet music, read sheet music. Yes, you're not gonna be the understand everything and that's absolutely fine because you don't need to as a musical theatre performer but just being able to have sheet music in front of you and know what it's saying I think is so important and I'm so grateful that I do this. Personally for me this class was not the most challenging because I've already done like my grade 5 music theory and I've played piano since I was like 6 or something maybe even younger. Um, so I kind of knew most of the things that we learned already but of course it's always good to reinforce these things because I did my grade 5 like three years ago so I've not really thought about it that much it was just a really good refresher and I think for the majority of people who hadn't done music theory before it is so good that they now have this understanding of how it all works and when you get a piece of sheet music put in front of you just knowing at least how to follow the melody and all that kind of stuff so I think it's super super beneficial that Erdang do that in first year. Next slight change Actually, I'll do the other academic thing. So this term, the only change for academics, obviously healthy performers switch from music theory and dance history switched to MT history. It was the same kind of structure. We had a lecture every single week on musical theatre history and then we write an essay on it. That was literally the only difference apart from last term. It was on dance and this term it was on MT. And I absolutely loved it because I'm a history nerd and I love musicals. So it was pretty good for me. And finally, the other minor change, which I forgot to say earlier when I was talking about tap and ballet, was that we had two contemporary lessons this term. I think we only had one last term, but I'm starting to doubt myself. But we definitely had two this term, and we had each with a different teacher. One was focused on contemporary syllabus, and one was focused more on like contemporary technique and um, the contemporary solo. And I actually, I spoke about in my last video how I found contemporary a bit challenging in the first term because I hadn't done it before. I did actually really enjoy um, contemporary a lot more this term, especially the ones where we were doing the contemporary solo and stuff. I personally found it absolutely petrifying doing it myself, but learning the dance and doing it all together, I really enjoyed. So that is kind of everything that has changed in our timetable. I'm going to talk a tiny bit about assessments. I don't want to talk too much about assessments because I've not finished them yet. I'm currently halfway through my assessments, which is very scary and I want to do a whole video on them once they're finished and I don't know when we get our results so maybe I'll do a video on that don't know let's see how they go first um yeah so I'm going to talk about assessments more once they're done but I just want to briefly touch on them just now so I felt that we had an extremely long time to prepare for assessments I did not feel rushed I did not feel mega stressed and it was just a nice like gentle process we were kind of eased into assessments from the start of term two and just gradually built it up until assessment month which we're in now and we have loads of time for self-rehearsal loads of teachers come in and do extra rehearsals with us so that's really brilliant i didn't find the build up to assessments super stressful also just from the assessments i've had already as i said i'm going to do a full video but they've not been mega stressful they've been quite informal but also like formal but informal they're not like an audition they're not like an rad ballet exam if you've ever done one of them they're just very nice and because it's your teachers that assess you they want you to do super well so it's a really nice and encouraging environment yeah i think that's all i'm going to talk about for assessments because i really want to do a full rundown once i've finished because i feel like i can't talk about it fully until i've gone through the whole process finished and i'm out the other side so that video will probably be mm, i finish assessments on the 13th of may assessment month finishes the 16th probably like 
23rd, 24th of May, around that kind of time, I'll do my assessment video. Um, the final thing I wanted to talk to you about in this video is tracks at Erdang. We are tracked in second year, so we are tracked in three different tracks. I could do a whole video on this, but I don't know. It's only really relevant to people that go to Erdang, so let me know in the comments if you'd be interested. It's personally one of the big plus points of why I wanted to go to Erdang, because I think it is brilliant. So, for example, track A is triple threat so you do exactly equal practice in all three disciplines track c is more focused on singer actor and track d is dance um i'm personally between track c and track a we have meetings in a few weeks to discuss our tracks yeah there was a lot of discussion about tracks this term a lot of like speculation of who's going to be on what track like between the students it was just a constant conversation which was always ongoing and i totally understand it's because everyone just wants to know what they're going to be doing and yeah it is good healthy conversation to have a discussion and it was nice to talk to second years what they do we also all got to fill out a form of what track we think we'd be best on so we got to put our first choice and our second choice um i think this is really nice that they take into consideration our opinions because at the end of the day it's our training and it's our career and then also we we put in our choices we had to put first choice second choice and our reasoning why we wanted to be on what track and then we have a meeting i believe with the head of musical theatre and the head of dance i don't know if it's different who you have your meeting with or you have it with both depending on what track you're looking to be on um yeah so we have a meeting with one of the heads to discuss our tracks and then where we'll be placed a lot of your tracking is also based on your assessments your work throughout the year blah blah blah, blah and where you will best thrive so i think it's really good that they take into consideration where we would like to be placed but also advisors because personally i know i would like advice on where i'm best fitted because it's just good to know and they're the professionals and they know what they're doing at the end of the day yeah, so that's all i wanted to say about tracks i've covered tracks assessments and timetable changes and all in all again i've had a brilliant second term i can't believe i finished my second term of training it actually makes me scared like i'm in third year next next calendar year i will be in third year what i've literally started five minutes ago but anyway i'm uh, just gonna make the most of every day at erdang and i'm so grateful to be training at such an incredible school and i have incredible friends and incredible teachers and blah 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 it is brilliant so i hope you have enjoyed this video and it's answered maybe some of your questions about erdang and as always please message me please leave a comment of any questions that you have and i will try and answer them to the best of my ability if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up so i know to do more videos on drama school and don't forget to subscribe down below to see the rest of my videos again i will link my term one review video in the description box so be sure to check that out as well thank you so much for watching and i'll hopefully see you soon Bye!